Well, I figured I'd make a video about investing in the Oxen cryptocurrency. And here we're on optf.ngo site. And the OPTF, that's Open Privacy Tech Foundation out of Australia, is the organization that develops Oxen. So it is a privacy coin. It's a fork of Monero. They have added what they call Blink instant transactions. That makes it so that you can accept the payment immediately after it's been paid. And it, it is guaranteed that it's going to not be reversed on the, on the blockchain. It's also a proof of stake coin. They changed it from proof of work to proof of stake. And then they added a naming system called the Oxen naming system. ONS on top of the blockchain. Oxen Network, it has hovered between 1,600 and 1,800 nodes in the last year. And each one of them gets paid 16.5 Oxen per block. They also perform session message routing and they run the LokiNet router software. Well, first of all, session is a, a messaging system. So when you sign up for session it does not require you to give out a phone number email address or anything like that it's completely anonymous they just hand you a session id and say here you go use it the blockchain has the ons the oxen name system and you can purchase names for a session so so when you buy a name it's recorded in the blockchain forever it's a really well-functioning messaging system and at this moment, it's growing very rapidly. Typically, things that are high growth also attract a lot of investment eventually. There have been these riots in Iran, some unrest in Iran, and a huge number, a, a huge number of Persian-speaking people have joined. See, security, tech, digital rights. What's on the bulletin today, Alex? Yeah, well, I mean, it's been a bit of a busy period uh, for all of us, really. Yeah. Um, so for those of you who don't know, there were some protests going on in Iran. There were a bunch of slowdowns or complete shutdowns of the internet. Lots of services were being blocked. And as a result of this, we saw a huge influx, hundreds of thousands of downloads to session. Mm -hmm. We were trending in various app stores around the world. Which number, two, will... number two in the uh, Play Store in Iran, yeah. which was crazy for us. It was a crazy couple of weeks. And then the third thing is LokiNet, which is truly private internet access. So an app that makes you anonymous on the internet. LokiNet is a low latency onion router that works with any browser anytime. Anonymous web browsing, VoIP calling and more keeps your internet traffic private. Now, if this sounds like Tor, well, it is kind of like Tor, except that it can also route UDP traffic or any tra traffic that can be put in, an, in a packet. You can either browse the sites that are on LokiNet, or you can um, use an exit node to browse the uh, internet anonymously. You can also buy ONS names, so those Oxen naming system names for LokiNet, kind of like the .com names, um, for websites and eventually there will be a marketplace for those exit nodes exit node is kind of like vpn but it's better than a vpn because there's no way for anyone to track you if you're using a, a LokiNet exit node it's got a huge amount of untapped potential so how do you invest in oxen first of all you can buy oxen from kucoin that's the most liquid exchange but you can also buy it from Trade Ogre, which is a completely non-KYC exchange, so you don't have to reveal you who you are. Bitrex is another one, and CoinX is a fourth one that you can buy Oxen from. So once you've gotten your Oxen coins bought, you can of course just hang on to them and um, be a hodler. Or you can put them to use, and because Oxen is a proof of stake coin, you can stake your Oxen and earn some income. It's actually really easy to do. You just do it in the um, in the wallet. <clears throat> just go to the service nodes tab. You see the available service nodes that you can you can uh, stake to. Click on one of them to stake into it, and click on stake again, and you you're into the races. I'm gonna link 
a video on what you should look for when you're staking in those. So be sure to watch those. It'll save you a lot of headache. As far as the returns, what you get from staking, you easily get more than 10% returns on it. It all depends on the, uh, the fee that the staking system operator is charging. So the lower the fee, the more you get out of, out of, out of the staking. But with an 18% fee, you certainly will get more than 10% at this time. You could also be an operator of service nodes. If you're technically inclined, there's a full service node setup guide. And if you have some familiarity with Linux, you will certainly be able to be a service node operator. And you can run public nodes where anyone can contribute to. You can run nodes with, that are just dedicated to you and your friends, or you can run a node all by yourself. Again, the instructions are very easy and they're right here on the oxen.io page. You could also speculate in session ONS names, so Oxen name system names. Those are one-time purchase and they cost seven Oxen at this time. And the name could be anything. You can buy any name and it's yours forever. And then you can resell it. This um, blockchain has a built-in capability of assigning the names to someone else. So sometime down the line, you can sell the name and assign it to someone else. I'm going to show you how to buy one. The purchases are done through the Oxen wallet. So here in the Oxen wallet, you have the Oxen name service tab and the purchase. You choose session ID name, then whatever name you want, Zoom or something like that. You punch in your session ID. The owner of the, automatically it fills this wallet as the owner of it. And you can even assign a backup owner to it and then purchase it. I have a couple of names here. Double E. Yes, double E. There are still two letter names available. Plenty of them. And I, I've bought the name Hello. I will link a video here that shows you how to purchase those names in more detail. And in addition to session ONS names, you can also speculate in the LokiNet names. You can buy them for one year, two years, five years, or a decade. It's seven oxen per year. And you get a little discount if you buy more than, more than two years. And then you can buy a name, any name you want bank for instance if it's still available you put your loki name loki net address right there and then you just hit purchase and boom you own that name so it's kind of like the dot com address craze potentially of course this is a far more limited but nevertheless you can own and if you want speculating these names an example of a LokiNet name would be mailsnap.loki, which I own. This is an anonymous inbound email service. So you can send an email to it from the regular internet at mailsnap.com, any address, and then you can view the email in this. Now there's also invidious.loki, which allows you to watch YouTube videos anonymously over the LokiNet. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Cam. And I'm Alex. This is Session Types. We're going to have a chat with Jan about what's going on in privacy, security, tech, digital rights. So that's that for now for the presentation. I hope you got an understanding as to what the Oxen project can offer for the investor and or a speculator. We'll see you later. Have a good one.